hello friends calculation of ytm that is yield to maturity by using ms excel function in a computer friends whenever we calculate ytm manually it takes lot of effort and good amount of calculations that is a time consuming exercise but then we can calculate ytm by using ms excel functions in a computer and that will take only a few seconds so let us see how we can use ms excel function to calculate ytm so first of all we take this example bank purchased 8% Nine year bonds with face value of hundred rupees for rupees eighty five each. Find out YTM of this bond. So here the purchase price is eighty five rupees. The face value of the bond is hundred. The duration of this bond total period, not duration, the total maturity period is nine years, and eight percent is the coupon rate. This means the investor on this bond is going to receive rupees 8 every year for the next 9 years at the end of 9th year the investor will also be getting this face value of rupees 100 along with this coupon amount so here coupon amount is 8 rupees total period is 9 years purchase price is 85 rupees the face value is 100 rupees now we have to calculate yield to maturity of this bond so let us start let us open ms excel after opening the ms excel so we find this spreadsheet on this side we have the row numbers on this side we have the column references so these are the columns a b c d and these are the row numbers so after opening ms excel we shall place the annual coupon values and initial investment value that is the purchase price in these cells so here we are giving years year 0 year 1 2 and so on up to 9 and here we have the cash flows so first is the investment so this is the cash outflow so it will be expressed in minus so minus 85 that is the cash outgo and all these are starting at the end of first year these are the cash inflows that money the investor is going to receive so first year coupon is 8 rupees second year coupon is 8 rupees and so on in the ninth year along with 8 rupees the investor will get back the face value of the bond so hence 108 rupees now after inserting these values what we have to do so we shall highlight these values in this function but then how to do that so what will be the next step so we will go to insert in the menu then we shall go to function thereafter we will go to IRR so once we do it this dialog box will open so it is mentioned here IRR now calculation of IRR is similar to calculation of YTM hence we are going to use this function now we shall highlight these values here so this is column B2 from B2 to K2 so this is B2 this is B this is 2 so from here we are going up to K2 so this is column 2 and row column K and row 2 so we go up to this cell so we are putting the reference to these cells here 
after this we will put any value here so this value may be 1 this value may be 10 it may be any value and once we put this value what we are going to get is YTM so this is 0 0.10674839 etc so when we convert this into percentage it comes to 10.7% 10.67 or 10.7% so in the value columns we enter the cell reference like this then in the guess column we put any discount rate and we will get the YTM so in this case the YTM is 10.70 so it is so simple thank you friends for watching this video